This is how to make a large batch of plaster of Paris. So you'll want to put something down to, pro to, to keep the surface clean if, if you want to. Then I put a bowl on top of an oven mitt with a grippy surface so I could mix it. You'll want to get a hot water that's between 125 and 145 degrees Fahrenheit, put it in a bowl. I heat I got mine hot on the stove. You can use microwave safe bowl and use the microwave. And then you're gonna add four cups of flour. This is gonna come together very easily with a hand mixer. And then you're gonna add another four cups of flour. So plaster of Paris is one part water, two parts flour. Except when you're making a large batch and you're dealing with so many so much flour, it can kind of be compressed together and like flour can be packed down. And so I found that at this point you need to add increments of water until you get the right consistency. So I ended up using about five cups of hot water to eight cups of packed flour. And the right consistency is that it's gonna be easy to stir with a spatula, but it will still be pretty thick. So I found that this was the right consistency here. You kind of see how easily the mixture goes through it. And then when I used a spatula, it just would stir very easily. And our project came together very well. We made these little gauze ghosts. As long as you leave sufficient drying time, it your project should hold very well, even if the ratio is just slightly off with the flour and the water and plaster of Paris is pretty forgiving. So have fun making your own projects and thanks for checking this video out. To get the supply list, check out livelikeyouarerich.com forward slash how to make a large batch of plaster of Paris. And to check out my plaster of Paris DIY ghosts, you can also find them by searching on livelikeyourrich.com for DIY gauze ghosts. Thanks.